The following is quoted from The Nestorians and Their Rituals by the English missionary George Percy Badger. Here, Badger is telling us what he had heard from Marshamun in 1850 about the Tchuma Assyrians massacre of 1846. These stories are evidence to our oppression. They are proof to our sufferings. Let us never forget. Let us add them to our arsenal, which with we will fight for our cause, our occupied land, Assyria. And now, let us all listen to what Badger had to say. The intelligence that the Kurds had actually invaded Tchuma was too true. In the month of October, the united forces of Badr Khan Beg and Nur Allah Beg entered the district and committed ravages too horrible to be related. On my visit to Mar Shumun in 1850, he gave me the following details of this fresh massacre. It appears that when they were apprised of the mediated attack, the people of Tchuma applied to the Pasha of Mosul for protection, but all that he attempted was to send an expostulatory message to Badr Khan Beg. That proud chief treated it with the greatest indifference telling him at the same time that he had no right to meddle in his affairs. The Assyrians then accepted the offer of the Agha of Chal to protect their women and children pending the expected affray, which being accepted, they were all sent to him under an escort, but the traitor having apprised Zinerbeg of their coming, the latter waylaid the party and 300 women and as many children were brutally put to the sword in one indiscriminate slaughter. Only two girls who were left for dead on the field escaped to relate the sad tale of this horrible tragedy. The Kurds then attacked the men who had taken up a most disadvantageous position in a valley, where they were soon surrounded by their enemies, and after fighting bravely for two hours, gave up the contest. Numbers were killed in attempting to escape, and as many as 100 prisoners mostly women and children, were afterward taken from the houses, which were then fired by the Kurds, as were the trees and other cultivation in the neighborhood. These unfortunate victims were then brought before Nurallah Beg and the Lieutenant Governor of Jazeera, as they sat near one of the churches and heard their doom pronounced by those bloodthirsty barbarians. Make an end of them, said they, the English consul at Mosul cannot release them from the grave. A few of the girls, remarkable for their beauty, were spared. The rest were immediately seized and put to death. During this invasion, about 500 Assyrians were murdered. All the villages of Tchuma were destroyed. The churches were razed, the rituals were burned, and the few remaining villagers crossed the frontier and sought safety and support among their brethren in Persia.